Hey everyone, Commander Josh Hawkins here, and welcome to the Elite Dangerous Update 2.3 Camera Suite. The new camera suite is absolutely amazing, once you get the hang of it, and allows for some really cool shots that were just impossible to get before. But the setup is a little less than intuitive, and for those of you who are used to the old camera system, it's a bit more complicated, which will take some getting used to. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your key bindings to work with the X52 Pro HOTUS, or other similar HOTUS setup, and walk you through a few of the basic functions. As you can see in the clip you're watching right now, the camera offers a level of control like we've never seen before in Elite Dangerous, and the possibilities for both video and screenshots are pretty much endless. I'm very excited to start recording some new footage with it, and I hope this video helps you all get started as well. As we go through the key bindings, I'll highlight the keys that I have bound on the joystick, and you can assign the keys however you'd like of course, but for the actual camera controls I'd probably suggest leaving them as shown in this video. So the first thing you'll want to do is press escape to open your menu, go to the options, and then select controls. Scroll down to the camera suite and expand that by clicking the plus sign. This section will just be to assign the button you'll use to switch between the different preset cameras. I assigned the previous and next camera options to left and right on the POV hat 1 button on the joystick. To enter free camera, I assigned the C button on the joystick. This allows you pitch and yaw control while on internal camera views, and full control over the camera when on any of the external camera views. I also assign cameras 1 through 9 to their corresponding numbers for quick access to any particular camera angle. Next, expand the free camera menu. This is where all the actual camera controls are assigned. The toggle HUD option will remove the heads-up display option when in camera mode. You'll need this for capturing video without all the key bindings showing. I assign this option to the wheel button on the throttle, which you can't see in this picture, but it's at the front of the throttle and you can click it like a mouse wheel. I also assign the wheel itself to increase and decrease speed. This controls the speed at which the camera moves when in camera mode. The zoom in and zoom out feature are assigned to up and down on hat 2 on the joystick. This functions just like zooming in and out on a regular camera with a fixed zoom distance. This is different than the next feature which just moves the camera back and forth. I use the throttle itself for the forward axis. Make sure it's set to inverted, moving the throttle will now move the camera forward and backward. Move right left, up, and down are assigned to the hat 3 button, which is located on the throttle by your index finger. This function is the equivalent to strafe up, down, left, and right, keeping the camera pointed forward. For pitch, assign the Y axis on your joystick. I like to have my pitch inverted, but you can set this as regular if you prefer. For yaw, I'm using the twist axis on the joystick, and make sure to set it to regular. For roll, use the x-axis. The toggle rotation lock option I assign to the E button, which is located on the throttle. I also use this for free look while in my ship. It will allow you to either lock the camera to your rotation of the ship, as if it was attached with a little selfie stick, or by unlocking the camera, will maintain its current direction while the ship may rotate freely in its current view. Lock to Vehicle is assigned to the A button on the joystick and locks the camera to the ship once again as if it was attached with a selfie stick. While the Lock to World option is assigned to button B and puts you into a sort of remote control view and locks the camera in its current position, allowing you full control of the ship. This is about the closest thing in Elite Dangerous to flying a remote controlled plane. It's actually a lot of fun. I can see myself playing around with this once in a while on a planet surface and controlling a, a small ship like a Sidey or an Eagle and just flying around in the sky. For the exit free camera button, use the same as the button you did for enter, that's the C button. Zoom and depth of field toggle I assign to the pinky finger button. It's a toggle so it switches modes with each press. Decrease and increase blur I use the left and right option on hat 2. 
And finally, increase and decrease focus, I assign to the up and down on hat 2. The key bindings you just set up will allow you to control your camera in virtually the same way you control your ship, only with a lot more sensitivity, which you can adjust by using the speed control now assigned to your throttle's wheel button. With a range of up to 3,000 meters, you'll have access to places that the old debug camera would never allow for, and you'll be able to capture video in a number of new ways, opening the door to many new possibilities. The only limit will be your imagination. I can't wait to see the new content you all come up with, so make sure to leave me a comment and share your videos with me in Discord. You'll find a link to my Discord server in the description. If you found this video helpful, leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Elite Dangerous videos. This is Commander Josh Hawkins, signing off.